big news from the state capitol. Judge has blocked the GOP lame duck laws that limited the power of Governor Tony Evers, saying they are unconstitutional. Now, Governor Evers and his team now hustling to take actions that the lame duck laws prevented them from doing. Republicans, however, plan to appeal. Katie Crowther joining us now in the studio with more on this as well. Yeah, Shannon and Charles Evers and Attorney General Josh Call taking immediate action this afternoon to remove Wisconsin from the multi-state legal challenge to Obamacare. I've directed Attorney General Call to uh, get us out of the ACA lawsuit. The other areas we're reviewing at this time, we just received the information a short time ago and we're still di digesting it and we'll, we'll make sure that uh, we keep you informed on that. The ability of Evers and Call to get Wisconsin out of the lawsuit, like they promised during their campaigns, was initially blocked by Republicans during the GOP extraordinary session back in December. Republican legislative leaders are appealing the ruling that the extraordinary session and lame duck laws they passed are unconstitutional. The appeal could result in a higher court putting today's decision on hold. That's why Democrats are moving quickly. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald say the ruling today creates legal chaos by throwing into question the validity of laws passed in extraordinary sessions during previous years. But Evers is confident this ruling will stay in place and says he fully expected it. Frankly, not uh, uh, not a surprise. Uh, we've contended all along that the will of the people had been um, messed with uh, by the by the special session, extraordinary session, and I'm I'm, I'm happy that uh, it, it has reached this point. And coming up at six, I'll have a closer look at how today's ruling doesn't just affect those lame duck laws, but also some of the people appointed to leadership positions. Charles and Shannon.